new, think about hitting that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Either way, we're talking about two issues I've had with my Street Bob, and we're going to be solving them today rather quickly. The only reason why I'm throwing the clutch arm in um, is because I actually just watched a video not too long ago about a guy taking it to Harley and getting charged $125 to fix it. So I'm going to cover that quick fix real quick, and then I'm going to hop into the actual brake lever. Now, I had the issue. I'm curious how many other people have had the issue, but going from first to second on the street bob, it kicked it into neutral rather frequently, and it was because the clutch arm was so high, my foot was just barely nicking it you actually had to work rather hard to get it into second gear it, it shifted beautifully but just the arm lever there was just too much movement so somebody took their bike in instead of doing this themselves and I can't believe Harley actually charged them 125 for that that's kind of fucked Harley either way I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna do it myself I already did it on my bike I'm just gonna walk you through the steps and then we'll get to the brake so let's do it all right so it's as easy as this guy take this off Take it off, right? All the way. Pull the nut out. And then what I did was I threw a towel over my cover. I used a flat wrench or a flat screwdriver to pry this arm off. And if you see, it's got teeth on the inside. Lower it one tooth down. It was sitting really high, so that movement, that movement was really kind of a pain in the ass. So now I really like the position one notch down. It kind of took me a while to get used to it, but it fits even with my steel-toed boots. There's really not much of an issue with clearance. So I don't see why you would take your bike in to do that. $125 for simply just one bolt, swap it out, boom, you're done. All right, now let's get to the brake lever. All right, folks, well, I had pretty much the exact opposite issue with my rear brake. It sits way too flat. I like it to be up here, so Norm actually to be honest when I'm on a hill this rear brake is worthless I have to pretty much put my toes on the uh, Crash bars and with my heel shove it down and that is just dangerous as all shit So what we're gonna be doing right here is I already pulled This pin out back here It sits behind this guy and hold that pin into place Right so we got that pin out which now we can pull this over and we're pretty much just adjusting this. We're pushing this back. So you're going to use a, a box wrench to loosen this nut up and then pretty much just giving this a couple extra twists. Now you can see there's a gap. You're pretty much extending it, making it farther, which is going to be pushing this guy right back to catch up with it which is going to be raising your bar right so I mean what is that probably about an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter but then we're just going to go ahead and use our box wrench to tighten this back up now I grabbed a bunch of box wrenches because I don't like running back in and out um, I think it was the half inch no it wasn't the half I think it was um, the 14 yeah so all right guys i mean it's a very simple fix um i actually checked on youtube and there's not many of them out there but i did see a lot of people bitching about a forum and i just don't see why people take their bikes into dealerships when issues like this are so easily fixed yourself um i think it's uh pretty dangerous to have your rear brake so low i really like having I really like having it up high so when you jam it down you have all that pressure and stuff so i don't know guys that's a short little video for you today wanted to make it nice easy to the point no jibber jabber um you got your clutch side and you got your front or your rear brake so either way guys thank you for tuning in i know this was short hopefully this helped anybody out if it did make sure you hit that like button i'd greatly appreciate the subscribe button being slapped um I'm pretty much just going to put it back together. At this point, you've seen it taken apart. We're just going to be throwing this pin in, right, and keeping that brake in place. I'm still not sure if that's as high as I'd like it, but it's a lot higher than what it was. It was pretty much, that's a good inch. So going flat with a peg, so that would be, 
that's a pretty good spot right there to put it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this pin in and tighten the nut up and we're good to go guys. Thank you for tuning in once again. Um, if you are interested in supporting the channel in any way, I do have merchandise. I got t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, tank tops, all that jazz. And um, I do get a portion of sales from Hero Soap Company. So if you guys are interested in all natural soap made by vets for vets, portion of all the proceeds go to Wounded Warrior Project. So you're supporting a good cause, you're getting you know, organic soap, all that jazz smells good. Um, if you want to support the channel in that way too, hell, we all use soap. Go check out the links in the description. Either way, guys, keep rolling. Stay safe and enjoy the sun out there. You guys have a good one.